you look like Princess Leia on steroids. Hi guys, I'm Yeramite and welcome to King Under the Mountain. Now, if you don't know the term King Under the Mountain, it's most of, most of the time it describes the Dwarven King Under the Mountain. Like if you pick up Hobbits from Lord of the Ring, uh, if you remember there was like the Lonely Mountain, you know, the king that was living there was basically called the King Under the Mountain. So this is a civilization type town building game something like Rimworld but more actually of uh, the Dwarf Fortress or the Dwarven Fortress I don't actually remember the name of that thing you build a town a city and you help your people thrive and survive and uh, this is a little new game this is actually like I think in early alpha or even maybe demo version of the game I'm not actually sure uh, but I found it quite interesting I wanted to check it out I wanted to show it to you and hopefully maybe later when the game will be actually like in full release we'll be able to play a little bit more of it so let's start a new game king under the mountain is a game about building and managing a settlement in a fantasy world this is a pre-alpha prototype so most features have been not implemented if you'd like to see the game developed fully please consider backing us a kickstarter and most of all thank you for playing yay <laughs> well actually they remind me of this looks like improved prison architect at the moment okay so yeah, this is a very rimwarish. This is exactly rimwarish if you think about that. <laughs> I'm playing rimward. Sorry. <laughs> Looks like rimward, but I'm guessing that this is gonna be like less dangerous than rimward. Uh, I don't know. Can I pause the game? This looks, I think, like coal. Uh, this is some kind of mountain over here. More coal. I don't know what this thing is. Okay. Oh, when you like actually go over the caves, a little light shows up. That's nice. There's a gigantic cave over here, but I don't know does the game actually gonna tell me like right away. Oh, this is a big ass map. Oh shit. Oh my god, this is a this is a very big map. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, okay, this is gonna take a while to actually build this thing. So yeah, normally when you play like Rimworld, you build a colony uh, under a mountain, since that's like the best place to, to survive apparently. But since this game is called the King Under the Mountain. We will develop a mighty kingdom. We will be, we'll basically build the new Iron Hills, maybe. Something like that, that's gonna be fine. So we have commands, mine, chop, clear, and remove. And zones, mercenary workshop, south mill, stockpile, and that's apparently for now everything. Okay, so I want to see actually how this is gonna work, so... Oh, okay, you can mine like this. Beautiful. Okay, so let's mine... Let's mine like a powerful entrance to the castle. Like this, it's gonna go into this gigantic, uh, I don't know, cave or whatever. <laughs> I hope that nothing bad is inside that cave. <laughs> Can you imagine? You you see a cave, like a cave like this. You look at this and you're like, hmm, this is gonna be a fine place to start building a mighty city, like, you know, like a town section for the workers or something. You chop into the cave and the first thing you see is gigantic freaking spider thing that's gonna swallow the entire person you're controlling. What the fuck? And you beautiful. <laughs> what are you? Erika something something. Dwarven miner. Okay. You are uh dwarven miner. Dwarven miner. Okay, so we have a few miners. What's this? Dwarven villager. Idol. Okay. Yeah, so we are controlling dwarves. That's good to know. In the meantime, as they are mining uh, the thing, I'm gonna like order them to chop. Can I chop this? Apparently I cannot. Is there like a forest somewhere? Hello? Oh, okay, there's a forest over here, so let's chop those trees. There we go. Just, you know, so we're gonna have, like, a uh, a little bit of, of uh, freaking uh, wood, so we can use them to make, I think, furniture or something. Uh, zones. Save me stockpile. Okay, I think I can make a tiles furniture. Ooh! Lantern, small table, large table, door. Furniture type, wood, stone. Ah, <laughs> you can make, you can make door out of stone. Okay, that's just a thing. Oh, there's a next button. No, it's not. It's not working. Sub meal, furniture, uh, wood cutting and bench. Okay, so this works like. Um, I don't know actually to what you can compare this thing. The game like tells you actually what kind of what type of furniture can be set to uh, to rooms. Uh, this is so. This is like a little bit of mixing, like prison architect, when you like design a specific room to be a specific place, and then the game basically tells you like, hey, listen, uh, in order to make this room working, you need to place this thing, or you need to place that thing, and it's gonna be like cool because you need that thing to yada yada yada. So I'm guessing, yeah, you don't, there's no other options as, uh, as of now. Okay, so let them mine that thing out. Uh, in the meantime, I want to build like maybe let's say, 
Can I make like a workshop over here? Like an open section of a workshop? That, that should be fine, right? Should I maybe build it in a different place? Okay, let's maybe... Hmm, 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 I don't know. Let's maybe try to build this thing here. So, if I would be a good person... No, actually, this is gonna be a bad idea. Let's try to build it maybe here. Yeah, so this is gonna be... No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I want to design this thing. God damn it, not like this. It's gonna be like one room, it's gonna be another room. I mean like working station, so this is gonna be like this. Actually, I think this is a little bit too big. So, uh, three, four. Yeah, four should be enough, so this is four by three. Four by three, like this, so this is gonna be like a working thing, section, whatever. And uh, now we can mine it like, let's say this. So it's gonna be the same thing over here, there you go. And that should be like a workshop. I believe. It's gonna be okay. Maybe. I don't know. So now, um, let's say I want to build like housing sections maybe. Like this. And this. I forgot about it a little bit, so let me just fix this thing quickly. There you go. This is actually pretty easy if you think about that. Okay, they managed to get into the cave. I don't see any danger inside. Is that good? <laughs> I honestly have no fucking clue. What are my other people doing? What you doing? You, you look like Princess Leia on steroids. You're a little bit chubby. <laughs> Uh, what's this? Uh, shape blocks? Fear planks? Copper ignots. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. Uh, my dwarves are trying to... Ooh, you cut it down the trees and you've managed to make logs. That's cute. Is there like anything else you can try to do? What is this? Uh, cannot target that thing. Okay. Or can I? No, can't target that. There's another cave over here. Oh, so this is a gigantic freaking cave over here that's going... Oh, okay, it goes under the mountain. And what is this? What's just... Why is so much light over here? Is that lava? <laughs> you open a cave, you're not supposed to mine deep. What did the Lord of the Ring teach you? You're not supposed to mine deep, man. Every single time you mine deep, it ends badly. But no! Look at me! Pikachu knows everything! Fuck face. So there are like actually uh, only three rooms at the moment in the game. So let's make a stockpile over here. Uh, like this, for example. Okay, can I do something with you? No, furniture. Okay, small table. This is a cute table. Uh, lantern. Okay, uh, let's build you like... Let's build the lantern over here. I kinda like... I, I see that we don't have the possibility to make like, you know, like walls out of materials like you do normally in Rimworld, like you mine out of a cave and then you like need to change uh, the walls so that the people will not complaining about the uh, like the quality of the walls and stuff like that okay they <laughs> look this is a healthy woman she is lifting an entire stone block you wish you could be so pimp as her I mean come on summer is coming look at her look she's carrying her rock using her own teeth that's how badass she is see what you're doing with your life hmm? you're watching YouTube huh <laughs> No, I'm not complaining. I'm doing the same thing. I mean, come on. So you have one room over here. So let's make like a sub meal. Oh wait, uh, a tiles. Sweetness. Okay. Let's try to. Okay, I cannot make a freaking door over here because I fuck it. So let's make a large. Can I rotate? I can. Easy. Wooding thingy. Cutting. Why I cannot build you here? I want... Okay, apparently I think you need to get this thing a little bit bigger. So that's nice. Let's go back to the zones. No, zones. Orders. And mine this thing like additional three blocks. Like this. And we're gonna try to make like a door over here. Oh, look at the Marty Dwarven people. They're transporting goods under the mountain. <laughs> Far away. The only mountain something. I forgot the lyrics. And now I'm gonna pretend I know them. What the fuck is that thing? Is that a river? Or is that a road? No, it looks, looks more, more of a road, actually. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I kinda... Uh, because there's like another game like this, something similar, uh, called Gnomoria, uh, which I had my eye on for some time. Well, actually, that was long before I started the entire YouTube thing. Uh, I, liked it, I like it, the idea of Gnomoria, but the problem is that the developer of Gnomoria, he finished the game and just leave it, you know, to, to prosper on its own. And which means basically that the game is not supported anymore. Uh, people like fans are trying to resurrect the game. 
but still without the support of the developer this is actually not gonna not gonna happen uh, so I'm still like looking for a new game that's like something like RimWorld but set in fantasy world. I also saw that there's like uh, mods for RimWorld that's gonna uh, um, turn the game into like more of a med medieval theme. But then again, you know, RimWorld is RimWorld. And I'm personally, I would like to have a game that's like specifically set in the fantasy world, like with dwarves, elves, humans, dragons, uh, orcs. Uh, trading, crafting, you know, some unique gear, uh, sending parties, uh, what else, sending maybe war parties or <laughs> performing banquets, if that's even possible, and it's like, you know, lost thought. Okay, so can I do something with this? Basalt rough stone boulder, okay, Afshom, you have filled the stockpile, that's nice. Uh, sub meal at tiles, okay, there you go, so we are actually trying to do something. Can I make, no, I uh, I think I need to... wait, I'm gonna like add tiles over here, like this, okay, can I now make the door over here? Sweetness, okay, wait, did I forget the door? <laughs> it doesn't look good, what the hell? Mm, I want to make the woodcutting station, why the game doesn't allow me to make one? Why? Why game? What I'm doing wrong, like you're supposed to add tiles, okay, furniture, I cannot build this thing here, I don't know why. Wait, 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 wait. I'm supposed to build you under the... No, I'm not... This building you under a wall doesn't work. How? Why are you not turning green? Excuse me. I make a large table, but I need to put it specifically on the freaking wall. Doesn't work sure. Oh, a lantern! It's nice! It's getting cozy under the mountain! Under the mountain of the mighty dwarven king! Uh, but still, I want to build this fucking shit... Oh! I can... Oh! Oh, okay, the boulders are actually... I need to take the boulders out of the fucking thing. Okay, sorry. So let me do this. Let me do this. Okay, now please take all of the boulders out of this place so we can actually build something. Come on. Come on, people! Under the ball! There you go, now I can build this. Uh, let's... I wanted to squeeze you like here. If you could take those rock boulders out of my way, please. That'd be lovely. You Zelda, please, take the fucking boulder. I know you can. Use your teeth, woman. Thank you! <laughs> Griselda's my favorite. Uh, okay, you took that thing so we can build this thing. We can even make uh, like a smile table over here. We can make a lantern over here. Uh, let's build another lantern over here. They are technically building a door, so that's cute. Now I want to build the stone workshop mercenary thing. Like, do you rotate the door somehow? Oh shit, I make the door out of metal. No, 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 Mine. There you go. I'm gonna like actually mine this thing out as well. Sweetness. Um, zones. Mercenary. Furniture. Smart table. Yeah, and all the. Oh, okay, so the, the, the tables can be made out of wood or stone. But the stone mansion workbench needs to be made out of wood or stone. And the door. Wait, so why did. Why the fuck did game or told me I need to build the doors out of freaking metal? That doesn't have any fucking sense whatsoever, man. What the fuck? Oh, look, they don't even have a small ammunition. I mean, uh, ammunition. <laughs> Aminimation! Oh, that's cool. That's so nice. Though I would wish to build the freaking copper lantern on the watch wall, like attach it to the wall. That would be even more cool. But I don't know if that actually happened. And I also would like that the game would tell me what kind of resources are like over here, and here, and like over there. Apparently, a turn is coming? Wind, winter is coming. Da -da 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 um, a new room that's gonna be probably not helping me whatsoever. <laughs> Can you build the workbench, please? Oh, there you go. That was fast. 
Okay, so can I build something now? Um, I don't know. Did you unlock at me anything? I don't think so. Okay, that thing is also ready, but you're not unlocking me anything. That's a pity. I thought you were gonna like unlock me something, anything. Anything would be cool, man. Oh! The fuck you're doing, woman? <laughs> She just pooped a lock over there that's like way smarter than she is, just saying. Uh, and apparently the dwarven woman doesn't have beard in this game, which is cool. And you are doing what? Okay, you're building something over here, but you're just... Put this... Oh, we've made a stone block! And you make planks! Oh, that's cool! That's cool! So, they're actually like doing stuff. Okay, but still, that doesn't mean... Yeah, that didn't unlock at me anything. That's a pity. I thought it was gonna like unlock me that is something. Okay, so in the meantime, I want to see what is this. Uh, I want to see what is this. Uh, I want to see what's the red. The red thing, I think. Okay, we can mine the red thing over here, so mine this thing out. And uh, there's more thing over here, so mine that thing out. Anything else? No, I don't think so. I think this is copper. I think, I'm not sure, so mine that thing out. I don't know what this thing is, but it looks like some kind of rubbies. So let's mine that, uh, that thing out. I would really wish that the developers of the King of the Mountain would actually consider putting different la uh, layouts in the mountain. Like, you know in Remote when you play it's like just one level. You cannot go up, you cannot go down. You only can build on one specific level. And in Gnomoria from what I remember, you could go really, really deep in the map. I think there was like actually like a bug with beetles when you, if you uh, open a cave with a beetle nest, then you were basically fucked. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, but yeah, still, I'm, in my opinion, the entire idea of building a for dwarven fortress on the mountain should really have the possibility to make like uh, different levels. You know, like you make the the crypts, the deep mines. Uh, you can make like let's say the furnace on, on a different level. You know, the living quarters on a different level. Just saying. And uh, what is this? Hemitatore. The fuck is a Hemitatore? I'm reading this right? Oh, okay, he, she took it, or he took it, whatever. And this? Marheit or Okay. We have got a little bit of that thing. Uh, you are transporting what? Excuse me? Basalt. Okay, so the green one's basalt, apparently. This is what? I missed it. Okay, so the... So the, so the little things are like rubies, you know, gems. Uh, those are like bigger materials. Uh, anything else? Okay, can you like give me something cool, please? Something cool. Oh, Bitonzium Coal Ore. <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> what kind of sorcery is this? I like the music though. The music is nice. <laughs> It's like not really the, the you know the same fame as the lovely mountain, <laughs> but still it's nice. I like it. It's very, it's very peaceful, and relaxing. But still, can you like move aside? Native copper ore. Yeah, so orange is copper. And this, Tanzantine uncut gem. Tanzantine. It's a hard word. Hard word. And I'm guessing this is probably diamonds. Oh, nice. Can I find the, uh, the mountain gem? The mountain heart? The something? You know, that'll be cool. Okay, so this is the same thing, that's the same thing. Uh, okay, let's see. Is that kind of thing else? This is the same thing, this is the same thing. Uh, this is... This is winter is coming over here, so that's cool. But I'm like searching for actually like maybe ruins or something. I don't think there's like... I think like a ruin yet in the game. But well, still remember that this is an early, early alpha build. Like actually like a demo. So a lot of stuff is just not implemented in the game yet, which is sad because I really hope that there will be more stuff for me to do. But at the moment there's just no, there's just very little stuff. I think I can gonna mine this thing out as well and see what's gonna be with this thing. Come on, come on people, on the double, chop me that thing down. Oh, she's working on the gems. Ooh, scapling. Okay, I want to see what you're gonna do. You do something cool please because apparently nothing is unlocking, which is very sad. I'm sad. <laughs> I thought something cool was gonna get unlocked, but no. Oh, she finished. She dropped it on the freaking ground. Okay. Turns out in the gems. 
The woman's like, fuck this job. <laughs> I didn't study on a dwarven university of, of gem cutting just to work on a freaking mountain when there's dark as fuck. I, I get you, woman, I get you. Native gold ore. Oh, this is gold. Gold! I found gold! So this is this, this is that. Okay, this is cool. Alright, so yeah, sadly there's nothing much to do in this game. I cannot build any rooms, I can just build, like, I can build two rooms. But I cannot build walls, I cannot make too much furniture. Um, I think I cannot train them yet. Which is sad, I really wanted to... to record as much as I, as, as I could possibly could and um, I haven't honestly checked it exactly what the game can offer I just like you know set it up and press the recording so I should have probably checked it before the actual recording what the game can offer so I'm um, sorry if you feel a little bit not unf unfulfilled I'm unfulfilled as well <laughs> sadly I was expecting more developers so okay so this is the thing I'm gonna put the the game on uh, on watch and uh, see how it's gonna progress hopefully developers who came up with with new stuff uh, in the future so I'll be able to record a little bit more of it um, I like the idea I don't know where this will go because for now it just looks like a very extremely limited version of RimWorld and I'm I'm fine with making another like Rimish world game but I'm not fine if this is gonna be like exactly Rimworld. Uh, I honestly expect that the purpose will do some more twisting, you know, some more, uh, I don't know, some different stuff to, to consider while playing this game. Because I really like the idea of building a dwarven city underground. Since in Rimworld, people basically build bases underground because it's like this is the safest option. But honestly, like, colony under the mountain, maybe sometimes, most of the times, hard to say, but the dwarves building an actual city on the mountain? Fuck yeah, where I can sign for that? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be looking for this game and if any new patch will come with, with like decent content then I'm gonna for sure record it more because I like the idea. But anyway, for now I just have to leave it here uh, as it is, so thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, like the episode, please press the like button a lot and up to see you all in the next video.